They say walls don't work. Walls work 100%. Uh, whether it's El Paso, I, I really was smiling because the other night I was in El Paso. We had a tremendous crowd, and a tremendous crowd. And I asked the people, many of whom were from El Paso, but they came from all over Texas. And I asked them, I said, let me ask you the, uh, as a crowd, when the wall went up, was it better? You, you were there, some of you. It was not only better, it was like 100 percent better. You know what they did. But that's only one example. There are so many examples. In El Paso, they have close to 2,000 murders right on the other side of the wall. And they had 23 murders. It's a lot of murders. But it's not close to 2,000 murders right on the other side of the wall in Mexico. So everyone knows that walls work, and there are better examples than El Paso, frankly. You just take a look almost everywhere. Take a look. One of the things we'd save tremendous, uh, just a tremendous amount on would be sending the military. If we had a wall, we don't need the military, because we'd have a wall. So I'm going to be signing a national emergency, and it's been signed many times before. It's been signed by other presidents. From 1977 or so, it gave the presidents the power. There's rarely been a problem. They sign it. Nobody cares. I guess they weren't very exciting. But nobody cares. They sign it for far less important things in some cases, in many cases. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs.